I'm gonna go over some of the listings that we have here. Number one, tower five, level two. Level two is your least desirable level always. So in any sort of a development, level two is the it's the cheapest always. Why is that? It's because you're not ground floor, but yet you're not high enough to really get much of a view. You often get a roof line view or maybe some trees in front of you. For that point, it's usually the cheapest. However, this property might be okay. We'd have to check it out and see. It looks like it has a nice view. See, it's got a couple of trees in the way there. For a level two, She's priced a little high, in my honest opinion, but not bad. Tower seven, level five with a jacuzzi. This is the nicest two bed I've ever seen. The pictures don't do the justice. Got a little yellow tint, that's the pictures actually. This has the beautiful Venetian plaster wall. That stuff is indestructible. This has a ton of upgrades as well. So they redid all the chandeliers throughout. This was never airbnb so it's in perfect, pristine condition. Now tower seven, one of the best towers. So six and seven is where they made the upgrades, where they made the changes. You can see this granite here. This is only available in tower seven and six. This is the same as Coronado. So it has more of a modern uh, contemporary style. If you look in the number two here, it's got the bedroom and the office. Again, what they did here, full size mirrors all the way top to bottom. And it's even got the mirrors on the side. And then again, this granite here on the sinks, only available in tower seven. They've got the wood pillars in both the primary and in the living room. And if you see the view here from the bed, beautiful ocean view, you see how they did the full mirrors. This is the only unit in Copala I've ever seen that did that. And I love it. This particular property, not only is it priced well, they're actually offering financing 60% down and they're going to carry a note for five years. That's pretty ridiculous for a completed property. This particular seller doesn't need the cash. He's cool to collect the interest. Super rare in Cabo. I mean, there's a handful of those. Most of those are mine. Yeah, I like financing because personally, when I'm selling properties, I like to finance. I like to collect interest, you know, make money on my money. And he's an intelligent guy. He does as well. You can get into this at a very affordable rate, get some financing. So that's a rarity. Now we've got a three bedroom here. So this is another level two. Again, this is the least desirable level. So you're kind of going to be right in front of the pool here and you're probably going to get a lot of noise. That's going to be the issue with this one. You see the rooftop here. That's what I'm talking about. You're going to get a lot of rooftop view. You got to get to level three before you really start getting that great view. So you either want to be one or you want to be three and then of course up typically. The only issue with Copala, for some reason, we can't do permanent pergola, so for example, on a penthouse. So me personally, I prefer ground level. I like the perspective from levels three and five. That's what I like. You just get a little bit anti when you get super high. But actually, I mean, the inside of this is not bad. I quite, eh, I like it. It's so, so. But you can see it's got the old granite style, not the most attractive. This one, they got the bed on the wrong side. Why do they do that? You should switch the bed to this side so you have an ocean view. Come on, guys. So it's, you see here how they don't have the, um, the cupboards. If we were to go back to the other one, so these ones, these guys have so many upgrades, it's ridiculous. So these guys have got the full, they have cabinets all the way off, lock offs, and as well as the full size mirrors. So you can kind of see the difference there. Another three bedroom here, this is in Tower 5. This is the same. Tower 5 has a pool right in front of it, which to be on level two, I think it would be a little bit loud. Well, that's not true because this pool actually is one of the chill pools. I'm gonna have to take that back. This is kind of your chill pool, and then actually right in front of you here is the, um, the main pool. So typically this pool is actually one of the quiet pools, and then you've got the main pool here, which actually is the little more potty potty. Potty potty, shorty, shorty. Party, party, party. This is the three bedroom with a jacuzzi, has a built-in Weber. For the three beds, there's not a better unit than this one. Every upgrade I've ever seen, upgraded the chandeliers. You see how they did the glass doors here? Never seen that before. It's got the automatic soft close drawers, which is really, really cool. It has the pillars throughout the entire condo. So it gives it a really warm, homey feeling. We haven't had the professional photographer get in there yet. Honestly, I thought it was gonna sell by now because this is a steal. They're accepting financing as well, 70% down. Can hold a note for a few years if needed. We can do it for five years if needed. This is a nice three bed with the jacuzzi. It has some other upgrades. It's got so many I keep forgetting. Obviously they replaced all the chandeliers. It has the full L here and it has the extended cupboards. This is what I love. I haven't seen this in very many units and almost all of the other ones that you've seen today, they have the short cupboards where they stop here and then either it just kind of collects dust or some people soften it off. But these ones have the fully extended long cupboards. When you open the cupboard, excuse me, they have drawers you can pull out. Everything is fully organized. They did a ton of upgrades. Also has three three princess balconies and the terrace. Extremely cool. Beautiful design throughout. That's definitely the best deal on a three bed. All of these units, doesn't matter which one it is that you guys purchase or what it'll purchase, you're gonna get access to everything under the Kavira umbrella. Meaning the new beach club, you're gonna get a discount at the golf club. You're gonna be able to pass that discount off to your Airbnb people at a 25% discount, about 290. But if you're playing, you're gonna be around 190 and you can pass that off to three friends. That means you and three friends can go out there for a buck 90 a piece, you know, have drink 
all-inclusive at one of the top 100 golf courses in the world, the Jack Nicklaus Signature Golf Course. And this gym, which I never have time to use because it's nine o'clock and I'm still working, it is an amazing gym. It has all the new technology, everything. Not just for like regular weightlifting. If you are an athlete, if you are a CrossFit person, it has everything. This gym is better than any gym downtown in Cabo that you'd pay a membership for, and that's a fact. So this is in very good tower. Very basic, plain Jane. This is super cool. So we have our own private bar here, our own private nightclub that basically is going every single day. So it's pretty cool. Uh, if you don't want to leave the resort, you just call the shuttle system. Hey, take me to the after. They take you there. It's a fun time, fun vibes. You know, a lot of wedding parties. Depends. I mean, I've seen like older crowds. I've seen just a lot of younger crowds as well, but it depends what kind of events are going on. But it's nice to have something, you know, on site. I mean, not only, you know, in Kavira, if you don't know, or in Copala, you get access to six other resorts. Let's call it 25 restaurants you have access to, 25 pools from Monte Cristo to Palo Nito Sunset. And then you also have your sister resorts, downtown Palo Nito Rose and Blanco. Very cool. We have shuttle systems that will take you everywhere. So if you don't have a car, no worries. This is a three bed corner unit, unfurnished, no view. This is a tough sale. The problem with having no view in Cabo is, well, you want a view. They did do a nice job painting the walls white. I will say that, that makes a huge difference. And also they have really nice cabinetry. I'm gonna give them, that's actually nice. And this is a little bit different style cabinetry. Also this property, what's cool about it is it has a fence. It's one of the only ground level properties that actually has a fence that you can kind of like lock off a little dog. So really what this kind of property is for is for somebody who has a little dog that doesn't care too much about a view. So again, guys too, if you guys want to get on the buying side of this, hit me up. Some of these are my listings, of course, obviously, but if you guys want a negotiator, either way, I'm the guy. 6601, so we got a corner unit with a jacuzzi, penthouse, 950. Looks like they got some stuff on the roof. They got the stairs, that's nice. Older style, does have the barbecue up top. The problem with the penthouses in Copala, don't get me wrong, everybody loves a penthouse. And you can put a jacuzzi up there, but they don't allow pergola. It's where the only development that doesn't allow pergola. Uh, honestly, it pisses me off because we should be allowed pergola up there so that way we could use it during the day. I understand that the, we shouldn't do it on the villas because, well, that blocks people's view. But the penthouse, these are six levels high. It blocks nothing. Put some freaking pergola up there, for God's sakes. You see what's cool about this? Right here, this extended garage. In Cabo San Lucas, it is very difficult to find a property that has a garage. <laughs> so not only do we have the garage, it extends the terrace. So you have a massive terrace. You've got a parking spot here for your little golf cart. This is a three bed, two and a half bath. So this is the backyard here. You've got your back terrace here and all three of the bedrooms here on the bottom. This would be your master, your number two, number three in the front there. Nice little jacuzzi, works amazing. We've got the front terrace. This has all new furniture throughout. And if this is a cash price, well, this needs to be a cash price, but we're a little bit motivated on this and we can sell this at a pretty good price, a very good price. And a buy inside bonus. Did I mention that? All of our properties means if it's four points, normally we're four and a half. Three points normally, we're three and a half. Sometimes we're five. I'm kind of like a, a Robin Hood, if you will. Now this listing here has been on the market for three years. It's, it's great rental, it makes a ton of money, but you can get Coronado for that. So you can basically get Migaloo for that. The math doesn't work out. Now this one here is a new property. This, this one has a pool, has a sauna. It's the only one that I know that has a sauna. When you look inside here, big, big layout. You open the doors up, you've got the pool, and then the sun on the side, which is awesome. And this is priced right at 149, which is correct. And it's cool because it has this little den area upstairs as well. You've got your downstairs big area, then you go upstairs, you've got your little den, and then you've basically got three bedrooms facing the ocean, which is the maximum amount in Copala. I've been on market for three years, guys. Killing me. Like, market says the price. If you're not getting an offer, I'm gonna change it. There was another one I wanna go back to. This unit right here has been on market 442 days come on guys you're doing something wrong you got to change the price you got to change the commission you have to do some store sort of financing some sort of you know you got to think outside the box guys 442 days in Copala is not acceptable <laughs> it's just not my average time for a condo in Copala is under one month and my average time for villas is under two months that's my average time. Why? Because I think outside the box. I get creative. I offer bonuses to the buy-in side. Uh, I use financing. I don't try to cheap out on commissions. I'm not greedy. I don't try to double end. The average absorption time is 15 months. You guys gotta get a little more creative, do some things. We did price drops on these. This one right here, we got 1.125. This is awesome. 
What's cool about this one, brand new furniture throughout, brand new paint. This was built 2021 and really didn't need a paint job, but they did it. Brand new furniture, it has brand new beds, 75 inch or 85 inch TVs throughout. Every single room has a TV, ocean view, like amazing ocean view. And there's only six of them. There's only six units like that versus Copala where there's like 195, you know, it's supply and demand, which makes these a lot more desirable. Now this particular unit with the full price offer, I can actually throw in not one, but two cars. A car and a golf cart together you got it that's right done full price offer 2b the second level that's 2b has a better view than a copala penthouse because it's a full line ocean view and i got a couple new picks that i took and i'll probably throw them in here the decor in here the super wide hallways you're getting the contemporary style that like alvar has that saint regis has at a fraction of the price okay i'm gonna be honest i just went and looked at St. Regis, they made some mistakes. They messed up a couple things. One, $13.5 million, don't get me wrong. Love St. Regis. $13.5 million, don't get me wrong. I like them. $13.5 million, they didn't put full pocket doors. Are you fucking kidding me? Why? Why? $13.5 million and you can't put full pocket doors in? Come on, bro. That's crazy. And the ceilings, they're like nine foot ceilings. I can touch the ceiling. Like, that's crazy. That's why I changed the my last Migaloo. I raised the ceilings an extra five feet to give it 12 foot ceilings, to give it that elegant look like we have here in Copala. The penthouses have 12 foot ceilings. The ground level, 11 and a half foot ceilings. I mean, that's what you want, that elegant look. Like in my studio, I have a theater room here because I have 11 and a half foot ceilings. You can't do that with a nine foot ceiling for 1.17 and honestly, I think we're getting to that time where we're a little bit more motivated and that's because they're building another property for themselves and it's a few months out. So I think if you guys were to come with a bare offer, we can make it happen. There's a lot of nice properties here. Obviously everybody has their own opinion, their own styles. I suggest you check them all out at the price point. Awesome, this is the, from the master bedroom. You've got a nice ocean view. Should open that window up all the way. And this has underground parking with two spots. Of course, you're on the same desalination.